If you're ever recording a podcast or a discussion panel with multiple people talking into microphones all in the same room and you need every person's microphone to be loud but then you start getting a lot of noise from all the open microphones I got something for you I didn't make it Hi my name is Lander Fakinachi She made a Dugan style Automix plugin for Reaper and it's amazing If you've ever wondered about Automix and looked at the Waves Audio website it's $600 This one is free and it's incredible. Let's hear what it does first and then I'll show you how to use it. So this is a psychology podcast that we recorded at work. I didn't record it myself, they just gave me the files to mix them. And back then I was still using Pro Tools and I had to go and cut all the parts where there's no one speaking on the microphone because otherwise it sounds like this. Rahisha. So it's it's normal in the ana rahisha. So shifti kif tefro yani hayda kans. But with the Automix plugin it sounds like this. Rahisha. So it's it's normal in the Anna Rahisha. So shifty keep the pro yani hai the concept li ishi ana abdin la anno ana and the ala bin ishi ana ab elik habibi in nikte ela e it's common human bisabab shu bisabab sukot. It's incredible. And by the way, it also works with live inputs. It's a real time plugin. So if you want to use it live, you can. I'm gonna go to Google and type his name, go to his GitHub and into the Reaper repository and just scroll down a little bit. And here you go, how to install. This is the link that you need. You're gonna copy that and go to Reaper, repack, import repositories and paste it right here and hit OK. And you're gonna have all his scripts. So the only thing you will do is just select the tracks and open the action list and just type auto mixer setup. You will see Lea Fac Auto Mixer Setup. Just double click on it. That's it. All the tracks are routed correctly to this master track. And on it, there's the plugin. You can see how the louder microphone is pushing down the others. And the way I would use that is instead of putting all the processing on each track, I'll just maybe put a noise reduction plugin on each track but the rest of the processing meaning eq compression limiter whatever i'll put it on the master track because this plugin is pushing down all the other microphones the incoming signal level is as if it's just one microphone so that's why i'm doing all the processing on the bus and not on the individual channel if you don't have that plugin and you have all the microphones coming in at full level to the bus and you're doing a processing on the bus it will sound awful but because the plugin is just raising one mic and and lowering all the others it's as if only one mic is going to that processing bus and therefore i'm able to more quickly just process on the bus itself for everything i wish i was using reaper back then when we recorded this because it would have saved me a ton of time and by the way these are the default settings i didn't change anything you can give priority to one track over the others so that's like the weight in the m32 mixer if you go here you have an auto mix in the main section you can assign it to x and give it a weight so this this channel will have more priority in the auto mix. That's the same thing here, track priority. This video is not meant to be a tutorial. He has a YouTube channel with a lot of videos on different things and about this plugin too. I'll link his channel in the description below and the link to his repository. But this effect, not only is it free, but also it works like that seamlessly just one click of a button and it does exactly what you want it to do i'm genuinely grateful for this any new podcast that we record in the future i'll be using this definitely i don't want to waste my time anymore also as i mentioned it works with live input so if you're feeding live microphones from your mixer into reaper to this plugin and getting them back out into the mixer you could potentially use it i didn't try it but i don't see why not especially with the older m32 x32 mixers because they only have automix on the first eight channels or even even if you're doing a live stream mix and you have a discussion panel, the possibilities are endless. Use your imagination. I'm glad you're using Reaper. Another video that you might like is on the screen right now. So click on it and I'll see you there.